In this video, I'm going to take you through a blockchain.com's trading wallet tutorial and how to transfer your funds to and from the wallet. For the latest information on blockchain.com, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. I've recently had a few questions in relation to blockchain.com's trading wallet feature, how to use it and why it's suddenly appearing. So I thought I'd give you a quick explanation about what the trading wallet is and how you can send your funds to and from it. Blockchain.com has introduced the trading wallet, which is a feature that they state puts even more power into your hands. When you have crypto in your trading wallet, you can store it there and perform functions such as receiving the crypto that you buy, sell and swap your crypto in less time and with fewer fees. However, if you'd like to send your crypto across to an external address, you must first withdraw it from your trading wallet and across to your standard wallet, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. So what's the difference between the two wallets? Well, the main difference is that your wallet is non-custodial and the trading wallet is custodial, meaning that blockchain.com securely stores that balance for you. When blockchain.com sends crypto to your trading wallet, or you send crypto from your trading wallet for buying and selling crypto, these transactions do not have to be sent on chain, meaning that the transactions can be faster as they are not subject to cryptocurrency network congestion or confirmation times, and they do not incur network or transaction fees as they don't have to be confirmed by the network or miners. Your blockchain.com wallet, on the other hand, is non-custodial, meaning that blockchain.com does not hold those balances for you, and you remain in control of your funds here with access to your private keys. Now, one thing to mention here is that the funds in your trading wallet are not backed up by your wallet's 12-word backup phrase. Instead, the trading wallet is associated with your verified blockchain.com identity profile. Don't let this worry you though, as if you ever do lose access to your blockchain.com wallet, you can recover your trading wallet balance. So what's the benefit of having both? Well, if it's important to you to hold your crypto non-custodially and to have full access and control of your private keys, your standard blockchain wallet offers this benefit to you. If you want to swap to and from this wallet, it'll be settled on chain and your funds are sent from and received to your non-custodial balance. Using your trading wallet instead provides the benefits of faster settlement times, no transaction or network fees and better reliability. So let's jump in and take a look now. When you buy crypto in your blockchain.com wallet, the crypto will be held in your trading wallet and you can keep your crypto in your trading wallet, sell your crypto, but if you want to swap or send your crypto externally, you can withdraw it to your standard blockchain.com wallet balance. Just be aware though, that if you recently bought crypto, your purchase could possibly be subject to a holding period of up to three days. During this time, you can still sell your crypto into cash, fund additional orders and swap from one crypto to another in your trading wallet. However, you may not be able to withdraw the cash or send to your non-custodial wallet or external address. This is sometimes done if you've purchased crypto via card or if they detect security issues of abnormal activity on your account and they place up to a three day holding period on your recent crypto purchase for security purposes. But let's take a look at how we can transfer our crypto from our trading wallet across to our wallet. And the first thing you'll need to do is ensure that your silver level verified. To withdraw, simply click on to send at the top of your wallet dashboard here. Then select the currency from the drop down list and choose the currency you'd like to send. Next, click onto the from drop down and select your trading wallet. Then in the to section, select your Bitcoin wallet. Then simply enter in the amount that you'd like to transfer across. Then click on to continue to begin your withdrawal. Once the withdrawal transaction has been processed, 
the crypto should then be available in your default wallet balance. From there, you can then swap it to another crypto, send it to the exchange, or send it across to an external address. Then if you want to send crypto from your wallet to your trading wallet, click on to send again. And again, you'll want to select the currency you'd like to send. Ensure that you have My Bitcoin Wallet selected. And in the To field, this time you'll be selecting your trading wallet. You'll then enter in the amount and click on to continue. And when you transfer crypto between your wallet and your trading wallet, again, this is an on-chain transaction, which means that it must be confirmed on the cryptocurrency network or on-chain. And the time that this takes is dependent on the current network conditions. So that completes my blockchain.com trading wallet tutorial. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.